Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Oferi Wadiodu and this is my first YouTube video. Guys, you really need to give me a pat on the back because this YouTube content creating stuff, eh? It's not a joke. It's a real, real struggle. Show me some love by liking this video, subscribing, and sharing with friends and family. Do want to leave a comment below and let me know how I did with this first YouTube video. It's in Kakran Kakra Where are my 1990 boys? Mm? My team members, the gang, where are you people? You people should come out so we need to have a conversation. This is the year. So guys, I turned 30 this year. I remember when I was in my 20s, 30 sounded really old and I'm like, what do people do with themselves when they turn 30? Because 30 sounds really, really old. But guess what? I have arrived. It's my turn now. Now, come to think of it, 30 is not really that old. That midlife crisis thing is a myth. I can say so for myself and even some of my friends. I know people do face challenges. It's part of life. We all have challenges, one obstacle or the other. But then crisis is like a big word. It doesn't mean that at 30, definitely a crisis is going to happen. People face different challenges at different stages in life. But guys, 30 is definitely not the new 20. I can tell you for a fact because at 20 I don't even know what I was doing with my life then but I had little to no problems and responsibilities I can't say the same about then and 30 however I still feel young I went to bed 29 years old I woke up 30 years old and I'm still I'm still the same on the contrary I believe between 20 and 29 I was experiencing or I was getting ready for the real life it was more of an experimental season and at 30 I'm more propelled and well equipped to face life it's like a new beginning for me and I'm more excited at the same time anxious to see what um, I, I make of life from here you get it life is a journey and it's constantly changing that is what makes it magical. Growing up is part of life. So just embrace it. Age is just a state of the mind. At 30, I realized I have an increased level of responsibility. For that one, definitely it comes with a lot, a lot of responsibilities. However, I've also learned to appreciate. Appreciate family. Appreciate little things. Appreciate friends. I've also learned to approach friendship in a, a healthier manner in the sense that I now understand not all friendships are meant for a lifetime. Some are seasonal and you have to learn to let go without harboring any hurt or anger or holding anything against the person. It's part of life. Some people will come and some people will leave. And it's okay. I handle failure and desperation quite differently from when I was in my 20s because now I've realized that most of the time the things that you want so badly might not necessarily be the best thing for you. So I'm a bit more relaxed and I do not take things to heart. I believe failure is part of growing up. It's part of life. And so when things does not go your way, you just have to try again till you get it right. There's no shame in Fenwa. Time is very valuable to me now and I'm mindful of how I spend my time, who I spend my time with, what I spend my time doing. I prefer spending time on my own. Now, I really enjoy my own company. Sometimes I just want to be alone all by myself and with my thoughts. I'm not sure at what age you can confidently say you've seen it all, you know it all. Certainly, not at this age because I can tell you for a fact that 
at 30, you still do not know it all. Every day is just a new day to learn and learn and learn. I'm still learning. I wish I would have learned more. I wish I would have listened more. I wish I would have been more inquisitive and asked a lot of questions. Now I'm an auntie. I'm 30 years. I'm officially in the auntie's category. So I qualify to give advice. Here are eight things that I think you should do before you turn 30. One, take a lot of risk. By the way, I'm reading from my diary. So if you see me looking down, I'm just trying to refresh the memory. Two, fall in love and be vulnerable. My dear, accept that broken heart with grace. Go and get that broken heart. Allow yourself to know yourself. When you experience all these things, that is only when you get to know yourself. So push yourself. It's okay to fall in love and be broken hearted. You will survive, okay? Three, learn a skill. Learn a vocation. There are a lot in this side of the world. So please take advantage and do well to learn a skill. It might come in handy. Find a hobby this can go hand in hand with finding a skill or a vocation some people find their hobby through their skill others also find their skill through their hobby and just fine tune it i hope it makes sense but definitely find a hobby it can be reading it can be artistry find something again learn to listen i cannot stress enough on this if you are lucky to have people who give valuable advice, please do take them, okay? There is no need going through a very unpleasant situation when there are people who can see the future, who have lived it, who have done it, and they've offered you advice and you don't take it. And then you have to relive that moment all over again. It's just a waste of time and I'm not here for that. Learn to manage personal finance. This can be a whole topic on its own. If you are able to manage your personal finance in your 20s, you are done for life. Hmm? Learn how to save. Learn how to invest. Do well to put some money aside. It doesn't matter how little. Learn to coexist with opposing worlds. You might not get people to be on your side or to understand where you're coming from but that does not make them enemies you just have to guard yourself and do well to coexist because things might not always go your way and you don't always give up when things does not go your way you have to learn to manage with situations and a typical example will be at the workplace when you have a very bossy authoritative or a bully manager or a colleague are you going to leave your job when you know you need that money? Finally, you need to find mentors. You need to find people that you can look up to, people that are already ahead of you in the game, people that are successful and you can learn a thing or two from them. But of course, you also have to prove to them that you are worth their time. So you need to align yourself with successful people so you can learn from them. So we've made it to the end of my first YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a comment down below and let me know how I did with this video. Please do well to like this video, subscribe to this channel and share my video. I'm not 